Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Health Cube, the place where our mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the health. I am your host physiotherapist Meghna Dave and in today's video, as this is Wellness Wednesday, I am going to talk to you about one of the very major and important aspect of our well-being and that is circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is very important in order to maintain a healthy and well body. So, what is the circadian rhythm, why it is important and how we can ensure that we are having a harmonious circadian rhythm maintained in our day-to-day -day life. We are going to talk about all this in today's video. So make sure to stay tuned with me till the end. In simple words, circadian rhythm can be called as our sleep-wake cycle which is constantly monitored and controlled by the brain. This circadian rhythm is a body clock that runs in background in order to ensure that all the essential functions of our body are carried out in a smooth process and thus and thus ensure that the body's rhythm is not disturbed and all the systems all the organs are working in harmony to each other. Different systems of our body follow circadian rhythm in order to maintain an harmonious functioning. As I mentioned that this circadian rhythm is controlled by the brain and this brain is also influenced by the environmental cues in its functioning. The sleep-wake cycle of our body is one of the most commonest example of a circadian rhythm. This is a cycle which ensures and helps us understand that in morning we need to be awake and hence we feel more awake in the daytime and night time is the time to rest and that's why we feel sleepy automatically as the night comes. During the day the light that is present in the environment this becomes the source to the mental clock or is to brain to give a stimulus that this is the time to activate the circadian rhythm and thus the entire systems of our body are more activated. Mental clock or is the brain sends signal to the organs of our body that they need to be more alert, they need to be more awake and thus our body feels more fresh, more energetic in the daytime. As the night follows, this master brain or as the master clock initiates the process of sending the message to all the organs of our body telling them that now it's time to rest. The day has end and now the night has begun. In order to create a stable circadian rhythm or else a stable sleep-wake cycle, we need to build habits in our place. There are certain factors, some environmental situations that can disturb our circadian rhythms. So the first thing that we need to do is to identify what are these factors so that we can take some actions over it. Some of the situations that can hamper our circadian rhythm are First, jet lag, the most commonest one. You all know, whenever we travel to a place which has a lot of time difference, uh, which has a lot of time zone difference, the people will experience jet lag. This is only because the body takes time, the body's circadian rhythm basically takes time to adjust or I'll say adopt to this changed environment. Along with that, shift workers. Now, people are working in night shift they also face this difficulty and this impact on their circadian rhythm people who tend to have this habit of delayed sleeping or else waking up at night or else you can say night owls they also experience this uh, disturbed circadian rhythm so it's like whenever you are starting or else changing the pattern of the sleep maybe you can say you used to sleep earlier before and then suddenly you start staying awake at night for long at that time the body will experience this disturbed disturbed circadian rhythm and will impact the health and well-being of the body apart from that there are certain sleep disorders that also impact the circadian rhythm of the body these disorders might not be directly related to the impact circadian rhythm but also has some bi biological factors involved these conditions are advanced sleep disorders like insomnia, asomnia, irregular sleep-wake rhythm disorder, etc. Then, when, then there is another condition which is called as advanced sleep phase disorder. This is a condition where the person will get tired soon in the evening and will sleep early before the time that is ideal for the body and he will be awake also early. 
this also impacts the normal body clock or its normal circadian rhythm of the body now why this is all important now whenever there is this disturbance in the circadian rhythm as i already mentioned circadian rhythm is responsible for making sure that all the systems and organs of our body are functioning in harmony whenever there is this break in circadian rhythm that also breaks the pattern of all other organs and systems of our body and hence leads to some of the major health issues which are lifestyle related disorders like hypertension diabetes mellitus depression anxiety etc hence it's very important that one should focus on maintaining and regular and consistent circadian rhythm or else should follow a normal sleep wake cycle now how one can maintain a healthy circadian rhythm purely with the help of lifestyle factors lifestyle modification and here are a few pointers that i'm going to share with you that can help you out in maintaining a good circadian rhythm these are seek out sun so whenever you wake up in the morning the first thing you should do in order to, uh, instead of pressing the snooze button you should give or else you should expose yourself to the sunlight rather than exposing yourself to the internal lights or as artificial lighting this exposure to the sun actually activates your brain and activates the circadian rhythm of our body along with that you should get into daily exercises that is consistent and is incorporated with a routine whenever you have you attach your routine to your exercises that becomes the part of the cycle the daily body habits and thus becomes easy and synchronizes all the systems of our body limit light before bed make sure whenever you are sleeping going to bed before bed avoid exposure to extreme light like avoid exposure to screens like phone laptops etc this constantly gives an altered signal to the brain which might impact the circadian rhythm of the body follow a consistent sleep schedule this is super important if you are able to maintain a consistent sleep if you are able to maintain a consistent sleep schedule your body will automatically adjust to that normal pattern that you have created for yourself so yes there is an ability that you have to choose your circadian rhythm to choose the timings based on your requirements the only thing you need to do here is you need to maintain that entire schedule for a long period of time if you break it in middle then it might impact your circadian rhythm avoid the intake of caffeine especially at night whenever we sleep at night before sleep if we take caffeine it activates and lead to the activation of adrenaline and other hormones that activates our body and thus impacts your circadian rhythm so be it morning or at night caffeine should not be the first thing to have because in morning also our body is naturally um, designed our body is naturally designed to release the activating hormones like cortisol which is responsible for feeling of feeling of freshness in the morning time so you don't need to give additional caffeine to the body when you do that what happens is the body gets habituated to this artificial caffeine and then reduces the and develops this addiction and the body will actually stop feeling the cortisol arousal in the body hence it's important that you should avoid having caffeine first in the morning immediately after waking up and also before going to bed along with that you should always keep your nap short in the afternoon if you sleep for a long period of time in the afternoon what happens it it also alters your circadian rhythm you tend to sleep more at afternoon which impacts or else makes you more alert and fresh throughout the evening and you will not feel sleepy according to the body clock that our body is following at the night which will impact your sleep pattern hence if you want to sleep in afternoon or else you want to have a nap in afternoon make sure you keep it so friends these were some simple tips that can help you out in maintaining the normal body clock or else normal circadian rhythm I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to Health Cue channel. On that note, I'll end this video here and see you in another video. Till then, bye-bye.